Hey guys, so I wanted to come to you today and give you a recipe idea. I was going through my Whole Foods app and I was making a list of my food staples that I generally eat every single day. And I came across a recipe under the recipe section for a blueberry muffin smoothie. And that sounded amazing to me because I love blueberry muffins. So I got the list and I got some of the ingredients and I was so excited. So I tried it. It's really, really good. So here's the finished product. And so I had to add a couple things just to make it a little bit, a little bit more palatable for what I like. It had a really nice warm flavor because you add cinnamon to it so it had a nice um, warm spice to it and I wanted a little bit more. So here are some of the ingredients. You'll need one cup of ice cubes, half a cup of rolled oat, half a teaspoon ground cinnamon, two tablespoons flax oil, two-thirds cup fresh blueberries and one and a half cups orange juice. So these are the rolled oats that I use. It's the Bob's Red Mill brand um, and this is the gluten free kind. So I use these rolled oats and I actually added about a half a cup more rolled oats to the mix because I like really thick smoothies and the smoothie was a little bit li too liquefied for me. Next thing is the cinnamon. Um, I use this 365 brand um, cinnamon. The recipe calls for half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, but I wanted a little more of that warm spice, so I added another half teaspoon of cinnamon. And I really like it because you can taste more of the cinnamon in it. Um, I didn't have any flaxseed oil, so what I ended up doing was taking my ground flax and I added uh, about the same amount that the flaxseed oil um, called for. So it was what, like it's two tablespoons flaxseed oil. So I used two tablespoons of fl ground flax and that seemed to work well um, also. So the recipe also called for two thirds cups of frozen berries. These are the berries I used. I got them from Whole Foods and um, they're pretty good. A pretty good frozen berry. I didn't add any extra berries to this mix because you're adding ice cubes to the mix and I didn't want it to be overly watery but with the amount of orange juice that you're using it's going to be a little bit too watery so you're gonna have to just downsize with that. And the last ingredient is one and a half cups of pure orange juice so I also got this one from Whole Foods and it's the 365 brand fresh squeezed orange juice. I used a cup and a half. I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use one cup of orange juice. That's That way it's not as watery. So I had to add the extra oats just to get it, give it a little bit more texture and consistency so that it's thicker. If you reduce the recipe by half a cup of orange juice then you might be able to you might have a winner when it comes to the the texture you know and the thickness i like it thicker if you like it a little bit thinner then you can keep the extra half cup if you want it thicker then reduce it by about half to three quarters of a cup and just play with it in the blender and so here's the finished product I also added about half a teaspoon of coconut puree. So I got this coconut puree from Whole Foods. It's the Nutivia brand. It's not an oil, it's a puree. So I added about two teaspoons. I added two teaspoons of this coconut puree. So that's what it looks like. Whoop. You can turn it upside down. It's not oil. It's not going anywhere. It's a puree. Sometimes I scrape it and I just I just eat it from from the container. It's really really good. So I added two table two teaspoons of this because I tend to have I don't know if I should call it a sweet tooth, but I have a coconut tooth in the morning, 
and so <laughs> I usually put it on my toast but because I was having a smoothie with rolled oats I said you know what I'm just gonna add it to the smoothie and it turned out really good and I really love the taste of it so here's the finished product in total try it out try the recipe out let me know what you think I'll link it so that you can um, find the recipe on the Whole Foods site and I'll also add the recipe down below along with the um, changes that the additions and the changes that I've made to the recipes okay thanks bye